In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a database for the script that we're installing. Here I'm inside of the control panel, or C panel, for my web hosting account. I'm only interested in going down to the database section here. You can see all these lists, mail, files, logs. We're going to go down until we find the databases. Databases. We're interested in MySQL databases, so we're going to click on it. This is where we're going to set up our database. Now, we're going to set up a new database. We're going to call it Demo and click Create Database. Add a database, username underscore demo. That's what this is, username underscore demo. Now, any cPanel will always add this as part of the name of the database. So the name of our database is carinsu1 underscore demo. Let's go back. Now we're going to add a new user and give it a password and give it permission. So as we scroll down here until we can add a new user. So we're going to add a username. I'm going to give it the same name, demo, and we're going to give it a password. I'm also going to give it password of demo, which is weak. You shouldn't give it such a weak password. Then again, the password, demo, and we'll create the user. Okay, it created the user with the password demo. The last step in creating the database is to giving that, give that user permission to use that database. So we scroll down here. We have to add the user to the database. So we're going to do user demo to the database demo, and we'll click Add. And now it's going to ask us what privileges do we want to give this user on this database. Well, we want all privileges. Make changes. Go back, and our database is now set up. All that we need to do uh, to set up the database is now done. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to modify the configuration file.